Hi, and welcome to Valkyr- No, wait. Welcome to World of- No. Wait, what's- Ah! Gunner! Heat! PC! Let's take a look at the Proving Grounds first. This is a demo, actually. It's a free demo. And it's an up-and-coming, uh, like, uh, tank simulator kind of game. Not quite a- not quite a simmy as a simulator like Steel Beasts. But more of a simulator than, for example, World of Tanks. So, here we have the M60. One of the tanks uh, currently modeled in the game. It's kind of like a Cold War uh, 1980s uh, uh, thing. So, uh, they got the T-72 over there. The M1 IP Abrams there which was after the uh, first M1 Abrams, but before they started uh, making the M1A1. So, uh, yeah. Let's first take a couple of shots, just from here. And I'm moving the mouse around, but nothing happens. Now, if I click the right mouse button, you can see the little arrow? It's kind of hard to see. And you just drag the reticle around. Like this. And uh, why they did it like that instead of just normal mouse aiming, uh, it's gonna become apparent. So here's the T72. I can zoom in. I can, uh, let's see, uh, night optic T. Here we have the thermal. And uh, by pressing E, I laze the range. And, uh, yeah. We saw some text pop up there. That's uh, what I damaged with the shot. You can see the ammo cooking off. So that tank is done. Now, new target. Gunner Sabo tank. Blaze it and try a shot through the side of the turret. Oh yes. Penetrated turret side face and a bunch of more text. It went away before I could read it all, but that's a that's a good effective hit. So the tank control is like normal. Uh, like you would have in World of Tanks. So you can draw the entire tank yourself, uh, not like, for example, in uh, in Arma, where you have separate uh, driver, gunner, commander, loader, and you like give orders to the other crew. This is honestly uh, much more sm much smoother to play like this, I think. So let's see here if I can switch to the machine gun. Yeah, there we are. Not a lot of damage model on this uh, UAZ right, uh, yet. Back to gun. So I haven't played this a lot. I've tested it in uh, this testing ground a bit before. See if we can get a good range on this target here. Direct hit. He stopped by front plate. My uh, my machine gun does not penetrate that uh, target. But we're gonna drive a little bit, and uh, get something a little bit more exciting to shoot at than stationary tanks and an orange uh, square.
take our spot on the firing line here. And now, next round I load is a heat round. I'm currently shooting uh, APFSDS, that's armor piercing fin stabilized discarding sabo. And we're gonna try at a moving target here. And this is where that weird aiming system comes into play. By following this, lazing it, penetrated target plate. Let's do one more. It's not a good lead. That's better. Ooh, it turned around. Uh, let's see, what's the button to, uh, to dump lead? I'm just gonna get a good new lead here. Follow it. Nice, and that was a heat round. Let's get a close target here. And I want the next round to be loaded to be another uh, uh, Sabo round. Let's see. Try the first target. We have two zoom levels. And let's try this target here. Firing Sabo. That was not a good hit. Penetrated target plate. It was a bit high, but it was ahead. Shoot this one uh, once more. Leading, following the target. That's good hit. So the reason why this uh, aiming uh, system here is ideal for this game is that it lets you follow the target like this and then when you lace the system applies lead that's dynamic uh, lead by inputting the traverse from the turret and the range from the laser rangefinder into the fire control system and that's how it calculates uh, that stuff Now, let's see if I can hit a moving target while moving myself. Turn around and try that again. Wait for it. Not a good lead. Uh, 
Oh, it's empty. Don't have that much room to move around here. Penetrated. Nice. So, let's uh, go back to the main menu and try a scenario. And, uh, yeah. Let's try this. I'm still not quite uh, like proficient at these controls. I've just been playing a couple of minutes. Let's see here. Target close. Do I need one more? Yeah, he's done for. Any other targets, like nearby? He came out, came at me a lot closer than I uh, thought he would. So let me get my. Uh, get my bearings here. Just scan the area a bit first before I move on. Uh, let's see. Is there a map? Not that I can see. I'm going to try to stick to the tree line and not make myself a huge uh, target out in the open. And then take another look around using the uh, thermal imaging uh, night vision. But it's not night vision as in uh, light I can uh, intensifying. It's uh, warm things show up like this. They glow. So it's actually excellent for using daytime as well. So you should still switch back and forth a bit between uh, thermal and uh, normal day sight.
So you can see that little arrow uh, more clearly now. Using the uh, thermal sight. Gonna carefully crest here. That's the downside of driving yourself. Something took a shot. That's an ATGM. Did I lose my, uh... Did I lose hydraulics or something? Oh no, I'm controlling the 50 caliber, alright. There we go, that's the machine gun I wanted. So you don't have a sight for the 50 caliber in the commander's scope Kipola yet. Uh oh. Tank. I meant gunner sable tank, not uh oh. See if I can find that uh, ATGM gunner again. That's also a tank. Gunner sable tank. the turret, hit auto loader, yeah it's dead. Yeah, that thing is burning. Him. Try to walk the tracers onto the target. He's not hitting much. But obviously humans do not explode, like tanks do, so it's kind of hard to tell. Do I not have a functioning range? Hit gunner's left arm. Okay, so I am, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Let's 
continue my advance. See something up here. Is that a tank? That looks like a tank. Gunner, Sabo tank. Range. I don't know. Engage. Destroyed. I'm not sure exactly how... Oh, taking fire. Power lost, loader killed. Ah. There was one more tank down there. Press end to view AAR. Let's see what's end. Uh, it's kind of different, to, difficult to see this text because it's uh, white. Mm, da -da -da -da. Show hide controls, F1. Okay, what's end? Okay, I did not press end because I couldn't find out how. Gunner Sabo tank, close. Re engage. And I'm going to try to do that again. So I'm the only friendly unit on this uh, map. So anything that glows in the uh, in the thermal view is an enemy. Carefully crest this uh, hill.
looking for anything that close. an ATGM gunner somewhere here. Target 12 o'clock, enemy tank, gunner Sabo tank. Identified. Fire. Re engage. Droid. Shots coming in from uh, like left of the destroyed tank. Do I not have? Uh, I guess I do not have like a rangefinder for the uh, machine gun. Yeah. He was supposedly hit. Stopped shooting at least, so I think he's dead. Other than the heat rounds, this tank does not have any high explosive ammo. So you can use heat rounds to take out infantry like that, but... Some AT frag or even hash would be, would be better. Last look here, and then I'm gonna think I'm gonna no ah. gunner sable tank in the tree line stationary. That's not the sable. Penetrate the turret, the turret ring. He's destroyed. Or 
reverse back down this crest then turn to my left and advance along the other uh, tree line well it's not much of a crest This is where having a couple more tanks in a platoon would be a good idea. Because you could cover more sectors while moving. But this is just a lone tank uh, scenario. It's uh, it, I don't think they've made like a campaign for this game yet. It's still in very early... Uh, like, this is just a free demo. I notice I have a habit of holding down the right mouse, bu mouse button to look around like I would in World of Tanks but in this game it, it works like the opposite you hold down the right mouse button to move the turret around and you just look around by not doing that Gunner Sabo tank, possibly. That looks like a tank to me. Re-engage. Those are two tanks. Gonna disable tank. Uh oh. Out of Sabo. Heat. Gunner heat tank. Re engage. Hit Gunner's upper spine. Target destroyed. Re engage uh, the first tank. Ok, 
Okay, so I got one heat round left. Oh. I'm destroyed. Commander killed, loader killed, gunner heavily wounded. Time to pull back. While my driver is still alive. Switch. Ah, end that in the keyboard key? Ah, yes. That makes sense. Uh, so here's my first shot on that... Uh, T-55, East German. Uh, let's see. A and D to select the shot. Okay, so you ride the shot path with the W and S. So that's the first shot. Second shot. No, that's the second shot. Uh, penetrated the turret. Hit propellant casing, so it hit the ammo. That's what made it uh, blow up. And that's a T-72. Penetrated lower fl front plate. Penetrated glass. Textolite layers. So that's the composite armor on the uh, T-72 there. Penetrated upper glacy backing plate, entered fighting compartment, hit driver's left leg. So you can see how detailed uh, this damage model is. Penetrated driver's left leg. Well, I would be surprised if a driver's, if like a Sabo round did not penetrate a leg. Driver's torso. Driver's pelvis, uh, whole floor side, stopped by road wheel, hit propellant casing, driver's left arm, penetrated rear fuel tank. So even though the um, Sabo round, the AP FSDS, the armor piercing fin stabilized dis discarding Sabo, uh, the Sabos are basically like, uh, they're made of like a light metal, I think it's aluminum. And they are just there to make uh, the penetrator rod fit into the bore of the cannon. So the rod, that act, the, the projectile that actually strikes the tank is a thin, long rod made out of uh, a heavy material, either tungsten or depleted uranium. And it doesn't have any explosives inside, but when it penetrates armor, that's, that's so much kinetic energy that it kind of uh, destroys a lot of stuff inside, which you can see here. Second shot. Penetrated armor. And then the fuel uh, tank. New tank, new target. Penetrated turret. Destroyed lots of stuff. That's right in the turret ring. That's uh, that's as perfect of a shot as you can get, pretty much. Here's one of those uh, T-55s that I couldn't really see that well through the bushes. So this first hit was a kill shot, it just didn't explode. And the second uh, shot hit the gun breech, and it continued all the way through, and uh, hit the tracks of this tank. Third shot, that's uh, still uh, firing uh, Sabo. Uh, 
And then I engaged uh, the tank in the back. Which uh, penetrated the turret. And just went straight through. Because that's what uh, this kind of ammo does. Re-engaged. I think this is the shot that made made it blow up. Yeah, that was the heat uh, heat shell. And there's the uh, destroyed tank in the background. This tank was re-engaged. It was already out of action. I'm pretty sure. And here's uh, where I got hit. Killing the loader. It's also a heat round. And another uh, heat round. And there's back to the start. So yeah, that was my first look at Gunner Sabo. No, Gunner Heat PC. That's the name of the game. Uh, yeah. It's still uh, like early... Uh, uh, we actually got a couple of missions here. So, uh, yeah. Gonna make a couple more videos of this. It's still very uh, unfinished. It's a demo. And uh, I, I don't want to like bur burn it out before it's ready. If that makes sense. So... You're gonna get a couple more videos. I'm gonna get a little bit more used to the controls. And uh, then we will all probably just wait a while until it's uh, it's actually released and uh, ready. And uh, yeah, until then, goodbye and take care.